Hi Cancer, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of August the 1st to the 8th, 2016. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos with your family members and friends. As you know, this is strictly a general reading and every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person in the universe. But if you would like clarity, accuracy and any answers to questions, I invite and welcome you to go to my private website and that is www.brendatarot.info. Welcome to all those new people requesting private readings with me to my circle and blessings to all my return clients. We start our week, Cancer, on Monday with a major card. And you, my friend, have been given the High Priestess. And this is all about keeping things to yourself. Silence is golden. Don't let out all your dreams to everybody right now or those things that you keep hidden within yourself. Listen to your own intuition and keep things to yourself right now. Have some patience and consider carefully what it is you want before acting, okay? So everything that you need to know will be revealed at the perfect time. Can't get much better than this for Tuesday. The world. So this is all about uh, a job well done. Um, you've made great accomplishments. You need to commend yourself for the leaps uh, over the hurdles that you've made. Um, it's the path towards enlightenment, knowing uh, that you've arrived within yourself peacefully and you're happy. Some of you are actually going to be getting commended for things at your place of employment, things, projects that you've been working on, maybe exams you've been doing. You're going to be receiving an award. Uh, some of you may be getting a new position and a new job. Some of you need to just sit back and feel the freedom of a job well done. Told you, it doesn't get much better than that. Night of Air for Wednesday crowning your week. Air cards have to do with the injustice and making uh, fair choices and decisions uh, for all in your life right now and especially to benefit yourself in a fair way. Um, and making these decisions and choices. But also, you know, when you do that, you have to look at the whole picture and other people's uh, motives as well. This is telling me that some of you may be dealing with legal issues that have to do with that type of drama and chaos you don't like to deal with. But there's going to be an event coming in, and it's going to occur with great speed. It's coming in now very, very quickly, and you need to take time to review all your options before you follow through with this. Um, you're going to be able to handle it actually with creative uh, solutions. On Thursday you've been given an earth card and this is the five of earth. Earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives, our jobs, careers and how we bring that abundance into our lives. It can have to do with mother earth, e eco situations, and our closest circle, which is our family. This is telling me that uh, some of you are concerned about money and there's fears surrounding you about money. You've been worrying about it. You need to go and seek out the wisdom of someone who can help you, perhaps your employer, your banker, your uh, financial investor, investment uh, company. Uh, maybe it's just a family member, uh, an accountant in your, that you know that can guide you on the path to bring you some relief. And perhaps it's a matter of just listening to their wisdom about budgeting. But you need to do this uh, in order to get your own peace and put your mind uh, at ease with these concerns about money. It also shows me that some of you that are self-employed are concerned in the same way. Please seek out some advice from someone that you trust. Another Earth card, Seven of Earth for Friday. So this is telling me that some of you maybe have put out a proposition or a uh, something, a proposal at your place of employment uh, or some project you're working on uh, or an organization you're involved in, but know that the seeds were well planted. This is only a temporary pause in action. You've been worried how it was received and how they're going to react to it. Your seeds were planted well, so it's basically unnecessary worry, my friend. Just sit back and be patient. Saturday, you've been given a fire card, and this is the two of fire. And fire cards have to do with uh, setting our passion and our dreams into motion and risk-taking and adventure and uh, self-development. This is telling me that you've come into your own, some of you, and that there may be some signing of new partnerships and contracts. 
know that it's going to be a continued move on your path forward. End of the week, Sunday, Earth card, Night of Earth. So it's time to buckle down. They're showing me that there's you need to get things done. Maybe you've been putting things on uh, the shelf. You've been procrastinating and saying, oh, I will, I will. But you need to honor your previous commitments. Uh, it's crunch time now, my friends. So please buckle down and get these things done. But this is a card that shows your guardian angel. And they've got their hand on your back. And they're saying, I'm here for you. We can do this. We can get it done together. This is your oracle card from the Ascended Masters trust. So it shows me that you need to trust your own intuition and judgment and you need to trust those around you. So please know that this word is so simple. Trust. Trust those around you and trust yourself. I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to, Cancer. Again, I leave you with another quote. And the quote I chose today is, every accomplishment starts with a decision to try. See you again next week, my friend, and know that I continue to stand in the circle of life for you.